Hi friends, happy March. I'm here with new journal prompts for our art journals. My inspiration this month, spring. Here in Southern California, we are really starting to see signs of spring, uh, even though today it's pretty rainy and cold. All right, so make sure to like and subscribe, download your prompts, There's some beautiful prompts for you. And I'm gonna be showing you different ways to put them in your art journal. Can't wait, let's get started. Welcome to the new journaling prompts for March. If you like and subscribe, I have these beautiful prompts for you to download and print out. And each week I'm gonna go through making um, art journal entry with you. Starting with this week, we're gonna work on daffodils. And then I have corresponding quotes for each week. Uh, you can use some lettering, you can try that yourself, or you can even just cut this out and glue it into your journal if you're not one that is prone to wanting to explore lettering. Like and subscribe, download these, print them out, and we'll get to all the fun. Here is what we are using today. This is pretty easy. I have um, Posca paint pens that I found at Michael's in soft colors. And then I found some which I thought were also Posca pens, but they are not. <laughs> they were just Michael's Artist Loft. But I really liked the different colors in here. I especially liked these two and then this green. They're quite pretty. We're gonna do our prepped art journal page, um, which is my old book. And I have a video that I can link to show you how to get your own art journal prepped out of an old book. And I have a very, very tiny paintbrush because I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use our paint pens with a paintbrush. And of course, the daffodil, our friend, the daffodil. Now I'm going to be doing this on a sideways slant. I'm going to talk you through drawing it out with a pencil first. I'm going to use this mechanical pencil and that's what we're going to start with. So the petals on the daffodil, they've got a front, a back, a front, and a back. So they overlap each other. And then from a side view, it has all these gorgeous ruffles. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. Let's do it at the bottom part of this little trumpet and bring it up a little bit more. Now this one, see these little ridges right here? So this is gonna come up a little bit and then we're gonna just make some little cute ruffles and connect it there so I'm going all the way to here and then if you're looking at it from this view I can see just this little bit here so I'm going to add that in and that you can just put in whoops right here and then we'll come around and then this one kind of has a little bit more there okay now what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll shade these areas with the paint pen in the meantime we're going to add our sweet little petals Okay, so I have this one, it has a little fold in it. And there's a little bit of space in between here. So I'm gonna go start from here. And I'm gonna just go up and then down this little curve. But I'm not gonna go all the way because this one is going to overlap it. And I'm gonna add this little curve, and to do that, I'm just gonna come in and add a little bit here. 
All right, now I'm going to start here and we're going to make this sweet little shape. And this is a little curved as well. So this one is going to have it like this. And I'm going to say, there we go. Now this one is kind of an odd shape. It's kind of hard to do. I could kind of cheat <laughs> and flatten it a little bit. There's no harm in doing that. So I'm gonna do this, watch this. Okay, so it makes a little bit of an easier shape to do. So it just comes up here. Right, and it has the cutest little curl right up here at the top. And then it's going to bend down. So if I made this too wide. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, this little guy is going to end up giving him a little shape here. And then this one, let's see, so we've got some of this part we need to add. And then this will be the next like that and then this little guy he just kind of peeks out right here and that is going to be our daffodil I'm also going to include this part and I'm just going to sketch him in real quick Gonna come around like this, and it doesn't really have that middle line, kind of goes this way. Okay, and then that is our daffodil. So feel free to stop your video at any point, enlarge it, look at it, give yourself some grace. I'm going to use these Posca pens and I'm going to use this yellow. What is this one? Sunshine yellow. Of course it's sunshine yellow for daffodil. And I'm going to come in from the Posca, not the Posca, so sorry, the Michaels. And I'm going to get this one. Here we go. Okay, they list them on here. Raspberry salmon, deep yellow. I'm assuming this is deep yellow. Spearmint, dark green, slate blue, dark gray, cool gray. All right, deep yellow. That's what this guy is. I'm going to basically color in my daffodil. So with these paint pens, you're going to want to make sure, see how I'm pressing like this? And sometimes it's good to do it on a separate piece of paper just in case. Now, if you don't mind the pencil lines, that's good. If you do, I'm going to tell you, you're going to need to color in right up to that pencil line and don't cover it so that you can erase it. Because once you go over this line, it's there. It's just going to stay there. And I don't mind the pencil lines because I know we're going to go over it with a couple different colors and then eventually a black S gel Sharpie pen. So I don't mind the layers. Now, these are wet. This is like wet paint. 
So make sure you're aware of that because I have a very good um, track record of sticking my hand in it and then putting my hand on the page and putting the paint somewhere else. So I have this yellow and I'm gonna take this teeny tiny brush that is a teaching brush. It's for classwork. It doesn't even have a label on it. And I'm gonna take this deep yellow and I'm gonna add the deep yellow into the bottom like this. And I'm just gonna color in some. Just a little bit like that. I'm gonna get my brush wet and wipe off the excess paint. And then I'm gonna come through and feather that in. And I'm gonna rinse that out. And I'm gonna feather this up. Like so. And just get the edges blurry. And I'm gonna let that dry. And while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna add this up here. And I'm gonna add just a tiny, tiny bit of this deeper yellow in here. And take my pen and soften that out. Okay, I'm gonna continue with the sunshine yellow. Up in here. I'm kind of using the side because it's a little bit bigger space to cover. And I'm going to do this one. I like to outline it and then I like to go through and color it in. And I'm just going to do a couple of them at a time. So with this one, we're going to make this little curl have a little bit right here. These are pretty thick compared to the Posca. You can see the difference. So when you use this one in a tight space, just use a real soft touch and try and just use the edge here. Okay, so I'm gonna blend in this with my wet brush and I'm gonna leave a little bit up there and then I'm just gonna put a little bit in here towards the middle just because they are a little bit darker in the middle. So now I'm gonna come over here. Outline that. I washed off my brush. Kinda of has a lot of water on it. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring this again. Looking good. All right, let's move on to this one. Sometimes it's good to do this um, one at a time if you're worried about the paint drying. So just work on one leaf at a time, if you like. Whoops, wrong pen. This one is most open to the sun, so I'm not gonna put a lot of deep yellow on this. Even this out here. Oh, he's cute, I like that one. This one. Put some more paint in there. That is definitely a bright yellow, don't you think? It's pretty fun. And then this. 
this is just gonna look a little bit like that. And then we're gonna do these guys. And because they're so close together, I'm gonna do them at the same time. It's a lot of light on this one. Um, and yet, let's see, he's got a little curve here, and then this one is going to delineate that one. So I'm going to pull this up. This. Maybe add a little bit more here. So what I'm going to do is come back in here and I can add some of this bright yellow just to give it some highlights here and there. Maybe a little bit here. Definitely a little bit brighter here. Oh yeah, of course. I always have to put my fingers in it. Mm, love it. And I'm just going to keep it super simple. So that, you guys, is your daffodil. Now let's work on the stem. I'm going to take the deep yellow, and I'm going to work on the husk around here. Oh, I need some scratch paper. Get my paint pen going again. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. I didn't color all of it in. And I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I'm going to come in and add a little bit of apricot in here. Just to give it some extra shading so it's not so one dimensional. Okay, then I'm going to come in with spearmint and Michael's markers. I love this. And I'm going to come down here. Let's make a real easy stem. Now, if you notice uh, in a daffodil, this top part is not the same color as this bottom part. This bottom part definitely gets a deeper, darker green as you go. So I'm gonna try this deep green while it's wet and just add that in there. That's kind of fun. Ooh, I like that. And I'm gonna put some just in here and I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm going to come in and add some white. Now, because I don't want to put a white paint pen in green paint and mess up my nib, I have pumped this to prime it, and it has put out a bunch of paint right here on this paper. And I'm going to take my paintbrush and pick up some of that. And just come in here and lighten this up. And then, so this is pretty dry, so I'm gonna come in and add just a little bit of white in here. Like that. And I did not get it on my brush. Okay, on my pen. So I'm thinking I like that. I'm gonna make sure this is all dry and I'm gonna come back with my handy dandy S gel pen. So one thing 
on this with this S gel pen is that these are not water safe. They will smear and it has a little bit of a thicker tip. So it's nice to use this to outline some of it, but let me show you what else I'm gonna try. Okay, so this is a Tombow pen. It's a, believe it's a Fudenosuke. It's a hard tip. It does not bend. It has a great nib on it. So other thing I like to use is this, and it's a little bit thinner. And I'm just gonna go through, and I am not pressing, I'm holding this just super light on here. And I'm gonna go through and kind of accentuate the ruffles. And then I'm gonna come back around and give it that look of the ruffles folding over. And then this one, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to show you one more pen <laughs> that I love. Okay, these goofy pens are from Notebook Therapy. They are the cat stories. And this has one of the finest lines I've seen. And it doesn't quit on you right away. Like with the Micron pens, I uh, pretty much ruin mine the minute I get it out of the box. So this is what this one looks like. So see, it kind of didn't matter that the pencil marks were there. I kind of like it like that. And then this... Uh, I'm going to go around. And when you do this, like, let me show you on this one. So I'm going to outline the outside of it, right? And it's pretty one dimensional. But when you come back and you outline that deeper yellow, it makes it look like there's a curve in that petal. Love stuff like that. Let's see, so this one kind of goes here, this one here. Nope, oh, I forgot to do part of that. And then we'll come in and do this. And down here. Da, 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 da. There is your daffodil. Now, <laughs> here we go. I love these quotes. With each daffodil, nature writes a love letter to the world, promising the beauty of fresh starts. Emily Dickinson. Now, I'm going to write it here, but here's something you can do. Because there is absolutely nothing wrong with this. I'm going to come through here, cut this up. Obviously, this is not going to fit, so I'm going to cut it here. Nature writes a love letter to the world, promising, let's see if this last one will fit, the beauty of fresh starts. So, now you can do this, glue it down, get your glue stick, glue that down. I would suggest um, even before you glue it down, it would be fun to uh, 
outline this top edge like this. And that gives it some delineation. And you can also take your pen and either on the outside, mark some black marks around it or do it on the inside. So that also kind of gives it some delineation. But I'm gonna go ahead and take my fun pen And I'm just going to do a simple print. And I, I tell this to people all the time. People say, I don't like my handwriting. I hate it. So that's okay. But practice on another piece of paper first. That's okay, too. Um, one thing I like to tell people is if you just do block lettering with, so I'm going to show you here, with, each if you don't like it then go through and put little squares on it fill it in make it fun add some dots And just have fun with it. With each daffodil. Okay, so D. <laughs> right now I gotta spell this out. A F F O D Daffodil. Dill. It's one of those words that looks wrong <laughs> when you write it. I'm gonna leave it like that. for doing this with me i love it like and subscribe come back next week we are going to work on tulips we're going to work on tulips so like and subscribe get your download get yourself ready it's going to be good all right see you next time